This episode of Kapow is brought to you by Joey Statham at Copperleaf Properties. Joey is a lifetime multi-million dollar producer. If you want an agent you can really trust, one that will really listen to you, you need an agent that knows how to effectively market and sell your home, give Joey Statham a call at 256-494-7544. That again, 256-494-7544. Joey Statham at Copperleaf Properties. Also brought to you today by Mac Butler and Butler Electric. If you're looking for a competent, reliable, and a very professional outfit to handle your electrical services and needs, you need to give Butler Electrical Contractors a call today at 256-442-4255. Again, Butler Electrical Contractors, 256-442-4255. Hey everybody, welcome to Kapow. I'm your man Jeff Underwood, and always doing what he does. Wait, well, he's not. Wait, well, you're looking at your phone. You're not on it. J. W. White, what's up, buddy? Man, I am just honored to have a a great mayor sitting across from me today. And one thing I, I'll say is, we get to talk to a lot of mayors, a lot of political people, but the best mayors are the people who truly love their city. You got that right. We got that in Larry Means. We got that in Joe Taylor, and we got that in Scott Reese. Welcome, Mr. Mayor. Man, good to be with y'all this morning. Thanks for taking the time to put your good hat on and uh, come on. Come on in. He got a Sunday after church hat. Yeah, that's on. That's exactly he puts that on right after he gets out of that church. Ooh, I wore this to church. <laughs> there ain't no question. So, anything going on in Hoax Bluff? Well, uh, yes, Jerry. Matter of fact, they are. We've probably got our biggest construction project going on in Hoax Bluff we've ever had. We're building about a fourteen million dollar elementary school. Wow! Mm-hmm. And uh, it's look, look like you kicked a bed of fire ants. It's uh, it's pretty <laughs> pretty busy, and uh, we're we're kind of excited about that. It's brought some new uh, 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 business to Hoax Bluff. Mm-hmm. You know, more foot traffic, and people are visiting our stores and convenience stores and and whatnot, and it's really really good for our city. No doubt. So uh, that's uh, that's one of the big things. Did I read where you, there's a project going on at the at the ferry? Yes, yes. We're doing some uh, renovations at the ferry, some new updates, and yeah. uh, we're going to build a outdoor classroom for our uh, Coach Taylor Morgan as our uh, agri science teacher up at Hoax Bluff, and uh, he'll be able to take the kids from uh, yeah. ag class up there and do water samples and and you know have some activities there on the river. And uh, it is, we got seven acres of riverfront property there, and uh, we're trying to enhance it and uh, also allow, you know, technically it's a boat launch. Yeah. So the law says you're not supposed to be able to swim and fish within so many feet of a boat launch. So we're trying to expand it. <laughs> we're, tr- we're trying to expand it to where, you know, citizens can fish, you know, on the outer edges of the boat launch. Some of the scariest times of my life as a childhood is Stephen Mitchell talking me into riding that darn ferry. <laughs> and uh, I know it was great in it, <laughs> but golly, man, it was just so frightening. But I always, never made, been, I always made it to the oh, other yeah. side. Never oh, yeah. been on anything like that before. You know, you know, we don't. We ain't got no fairies in a tower. You know, so okay. uh, you know, we got different kind of scary situations but it, in a tower. We also had some of the funnest times I've ever had in my life as a teenager. And you, were, we were talking in pre-show, just kind of hanging out and talking about some of your times mm-hmm. as a child or a teenager. I tell you, the community. I lived out there for several years. We we built our first home out there on uh, Third Street or Fourth Street. Okay, uh, one of the little spec homes out there. And then when I was a young, twenty one year old guy, and and we lived out there next to um, um, Jr. Jr.'s dad, uh, Blankford. Yeah, no, no Scott. Uh, Oh, the football player. The, the photographer, Golden. Gaston Times, uh, Golden, Mark Golden. Golden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we lived yeah. next door to them for years, and we <clears> loved <throat> it, man. The the, the Hoax Bluff <clears throat> community just just takes people in, mm-hmm. and it, it really is that yeah. way. You know, when, when I was a kid and Stevie Mitchell goes, man, in Barry Salvador, I ain't going to never accept you, man. You ain't from Hoax Bluff, you know. And I'm like, dang. But then, but they did, you know. And it was just, it's a great place to live. And uh, we, It we is, but they everything. did never accept you. No, 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 no. You're but it was all, gas they all. tolerated me, right, from East Gadsden. But it, <laughs> just great people out there, man. I love still, Hoax Bluff. Still a lot of grassroots, yeah. uh, you know, mm-hmm. families in Hoax Bluff that, that's been lifelong residents. Yeah. But we do have a lot of. We do have a, what uh, people call transplants come in, and they they've been welcomed. We we welcome everybody. Even yeah. Coach Rob, he's a transplant. Man. He, came, <laughs> he came in from East Gadsden back yeah. in the seventies. He seemed like a lifer that he's been there so long, though, right? <laughs> yeah, no, he y- y'all adopted him for sure. He, he's, I mean, he may be a step family, but he's, he's adopted. Man, the the people are, are just you're very popular. Yeah, they love Reggie him. Davis loves you, um, which Reggie. He loves everybody. He does. He's a good Reggie's guy, a, man. He always smiling. Big old Reggie. Jamie, Gra- Jamie, 
You see Jeff wearing a vest because hey, you you'd be watching this hey, morning. Right outside, you did it on purpose. Right outside of my neighborhood, coming out to Tillerson Bend on the two seventy eight, you put that big old billboard with that vest on, and I was so happy. It just he, made he told me he's gonna do it. Man, thank you. He told I me appreciate do it. that. That is so <laughs> fun. So, what uh, Jamie Grant stories you have? Here we go. Uh, I don't really have any Jamie Grant stories. Let me he, tell you, uh, none you can share. Oh, okay, <laughs> so y'all got y'all got some y'all got the goods on Jamie. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, back, back to Hoax Bluff, and we appreciate you guys watching. Yeah, um, Miss Reba Stanley's on. Oh, Jameson Jenkins is on. He said, "Good morning, guys. You're with one of the good ones this morning. That's a great man." <laughs> You're I checking the man. Yeah, he'll pay. I, pre- I appreciate that. <laughs> um, a lot of articles we've been going through, and and I was reading the thirty safest places to live in Alabama. Hmm. Hoax plus number three. That's exactly That's right. Fantastic. Talk about that a little bit. That's going to make you pump your chest out a little bit. <laughs> well, you got to be careful with pride. Well, let's be clear. You're not going to invade anybody's home in hoax plus. <laughs> well, That's yeah, true. You know, there's a lot of second. There's a lot of pro Second it's, Amendment people out there. Re- repercussion, the consequences. <laughs> a, lot, right. a lot of a lot of hunters out in hoax plus, which I am one of. <laughs> That's right. But uh, you, you got to credit that with uh, well, good citizens. Hmm. You got to look at. Uh, I think uh, Jerry and Jeff. You got to look at a, a good police department we've had over the past oh Lord decades and decades. Uh, I think it comes down, you know, really to uh, public safety and the way our police department, you know, handles themselves and uh, and, uh, and and keeps a keeps a lid on a lot of things. You know what I'm saying? So uh, I I feel like that's where the credits due is. Uh, you know, good citizens and, and a good public uh, public safety department. Yeah, we do. And our police department does a great job. Yes, I was getting ready to say that we do a lot. Most of our shopping out in Oaks, but we bust a left out to and Bend. We're right there in a second, mm-hmm. so we shop. We frequent the the Sonic and the well, we call it still call it the Pig, but we know <laughs> Gregson still got it. But um, I've seen police officers out there <clears throat> changing tires on the side of the road. Somebody has car trouble, they pull over and just wait with them, help them out. I mean, that's right. That, that's is more than just policing. It, it's mm-hmm. It's about the community involvement, and, and I've seen that from Hoax Bluff for, for yeah. just so many years. Uh, Mayor Mayor Andy Taylor, I mean, excuse me, Mayor <laughs> Joe Taylor, he uh, he was he, he was number one. <laughs> so yeah. credit to Joe. I, I don't I, I I guess I failed to call him and tell him, but uh, you know that's hey that's a, that's a you can put a straw in your hat for that. Man, that's top good five recognition. is amazing, right? I mean, regardless, yes. one three whatever, that's fantastic. Mm-hmm. Uh, we actually we, we use the the vet in Hoax Bluff, mm-hmm. Doctor Ford. Doctor Ford, yeah, we go all the way out got, there. He's got a young lady taking over. His, she's awesome. By moving the way. in there, she's my cousin. Is it right? She's my cousin. She is we love her. Is. We've been she years. Years. Yeah, she she is next level. Sure so is. here's you know from from being from a Tyler, right? You hear about the when you grow up these different places. Here here was my thinking of of Hoax Bluff. Truly, <laughs> careful. No, really, really. You well, gotta, you gotta love Jesus, yeah, right? That's exactly got right. To. Got to number love, one. Yeah, got, no, that's gotta, right. gotta love Jesus. That's right. And you don't go doing anything you ain't supposed to do at Hoax Bluff. They'll get you. That's exactly right. That, I mean, that was the thought process. Seriously, that was the thought. That's you don't exactly go right. messing around at Hoax Bluff. That's right. Don't be rolling no yards. Don't be throwing rocks at the windows that's of the right. little, little girls. That's you right. Know, you don't do that at Hoax that's Bluff. Right. That's right. And Glencoe's always got to be your rivalry. Darn right. Yeah. I wouldn't even love go to you, Chris. Glencoe. You're good. Some of the scariest <laughs> moments I've ever had was parked outside with some of your Hoax Bluff people. Mm-hmm. Riding along. I got myself in trouble to get in the car. Sound Watch who you get in the car with. Yeah, mm. Watch who you get in the car with, and meeting some Glencoe people, the Sims, which scares the mess out of everybody. You know them from Glencoe. Meeting up to have conversations at two seven eight restaurant. We'll just leave it at that. We'll leave it right. Conversations. There. Oh, we got some. We got some good Glencoe stories from back in the seventies and eighties. I bet some good ones. I bet JD, you do. JD Jennings. Is JD it? Jennings is a Glencoe guy. Glencoe, but uh, does he live in Hoax Bluff now? I know it. Well, Hoax yeah, right? te- technically, technically he does. I guess it is Hoax Bluff. It's out there behind Greg, the old Gregson's building there. Uh, Cadell Circle. Cadell yeah, Circle. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Circle. so you know J.D. <laughs> I don't know if I do or not. Uh, don't ring a bell with me. <laughs> does he live out there or does he live Tillerson Bend? No, he lives in Cadell. Cadell. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't guess I know him. He's a great <clears> guy, though. Great guy. I'm going to leave it right there. <laughs> he ran with Ed Lett, so if that tells you anything, okay. that's, that's mm-hmm. a problem. So okay. the the pool still going strong out there? Nineteen seventy eight or nine Man. slips my mind. I think seventy nine, first year we built it. <clears throat> and uh uh Cootie, my cousin, Cootie Reeves, Danny Cootie Payne, Reeves. and Coach Rob, <laughs> about like our high school coaches Man. the past fifty years. They <laughs> they they ran the pool this mm-hmm. whole time. And it's uh I heard people call him Coach Pool. 
Coach yeah. Poo. The Poo manager. Yeah. The he's the Poo. Poo. He's yeah. a Poo manager. Yeah. He had a lady get on him one time over by some strict rules, and that's what she called him, the Poo manager. I love it. So, that. anyway, uh, the pool has been a great asset for our city. Mm-hmm. We have people come to the Hoax Bluff City Poo and say, why can't we have a city pool? Yeah. And it's done real good. Do we make a lot of money? No. We just offer it as a service to our yeah. citizens in our community. A uh, great place to come and bring your family and swim for yeah. $5 a day yeah. per person. and Or you can buy a pass for $50 for the year. Mm-hmm. And we're open usually about seven weeks, which is 70 days. And yeah. The kids you know, love it. Yeah. They do. The they, parents they certainly, love it. They have the kids something. They certainly love it. And we've made some, uh, uh, we've done some uh, upgrades to the pool. We put in some more shade oh, yeah. for the older people that bring their grandkids over there. We know, like me and, hey. and you guys. And uh, <laughs> But anyway, we put in, uh, took out our old concrete table. We got to thinking. Yeah. Yeah. If one of them things fell on somebody, Good Lord. here we go. So uh, we put in some new rubberized, steel rubberized uh, yeah. uh, picnic tables, like you see at the Sonic that uh, right. uh, all of us like to frequent. Yes, we. But do. Uh, it's it's really a it's really a neat little place. That's awesome. So we, you guys, uh, throw some questions out there. Um, Ralph Sism's watching. A uh, question from Jamie Grant: Have you has the water in the pool ever been changed? <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> Jamie, it has not. We just treat it. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> yeah, you got to just watch him. Watch him very carefully. You know, unlike some of the other cities and little areas, they've mm-hmm. concreted theirs in. We won't mention any names. Speaking of rivalries, they've mm-hmm. concreted theirs in. But, uh, which we're, where we used to say we were teenagers, but since we've had children, uh, Hoax Blood Pool is a place to go. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's just a great mm-hmm. place, a great atmosphere. And, you know, we play a lot of youth sports and, and uh, ball, and, and the, the complex out there is great. Mm-hmm. Uh, talk a little bit about that. That is named after... Uh, a pretty prominent guy uh, out there, and <laughs> Craig Ford. <laughs> Craig, love, so. Craig, you know, good thing about Craig. Of course, I told y'all before we started, he's kin to me. He's my cousin. He's, he's bloodline. Craig, <laughs> Craig, uh, Craig just had that way to get 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 our tax money back to us. You know, back into our communities, mm-hmm. and uh, he was real good at doing that. And uh, they years ago they named the complex after him, and it's uh, named also after Merle and Billy Mike Shields, That's who right. coached. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me, coached youth sports at Hoax yeah. Bluff baseball for years, right. and uh, a lot of us that uh, that knew uh, Billy Mack, of course, you know that's Steve Shields and Dad, yeah. and uh, Kathy and Scott, but uh, and uh, Merle's kids. We all went to school together, and uh, Merle and my dad coached together, coached us in baseball when we were yeah. young, and just a lot of respect for the Shields family yeah. and you know what they've done throughout the years in, in Hoax Bluff for. Uh, for our youth sports, yeah, so, that's uh, what I was alluding to, really, with the shoes, yes, but, yes. I mean, Craig always yeah. got to have his name on something, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it is a great place. It and, is. And uh, talking about the pool and that, the park we used to walk there constantly. Mm-hmm. Let our kids play in the fenced-in area, which is key. That's right. Mm-hmm. Fenced-in area, then you can walk around. And that's it's right. Just a our city park is neat. We get a lot awesome. of we get a lot of compliments on our park. You know, and a few years ago, we kind of we didn't have anything for the handicapped kids. Mm-hmm. So we put in an ADA handicap facility. We've got a wheelchair swing on a 30 by 30 uh, rubberized pad. That's amazing. And we put in some uh, full body harness swings too for kids that can get out of a wheelchair and you right. set them in a full body harness swing. So uh, that, we're really proud of that too. And again, Mr. Craig Ford with Noopy Cosby at uh, uh, Northeast Alabama Regional is slipping my mind. Anyway, they helped us secure the yeah. funds to do that, that's and that's awesome. been a great upgrade for our <clears throat> for our city park. That's beautiful. <clears throat> that's, that's so, awesome. let's talk about some of the businesses you have out mm-hmm. there. For you know, a lot of people don't travel all the way out there thinking there's not much there. You guys have some great businesses well, out there. We right? do. You know, one of our goals when we took office the first few years, 2016, when I got elected mayor, and a uh, new council came in. A lot of new councilmen came in. We uh. We had a we had seven empty buildings in our shopping center, mm. and we worked really hard. To, you know, without revenue, a city struggles. No doubt. And and so you know, business recruiting that's always first and foremost on our mind. So we we set out on a journey to uh, fill up our shopping center, and you know, and I'm happy today to say that it's full. Mm. And uh, we, uh, you know, like you said, we, we we offer more business than what people think. I'd like to see us have a little clothing store yeah. Uh, yeah. that would be open in the afternoons <clears throat> to at night. We don't have that, but. Uh, you know, kind of like a boutique or something mm-hmm. like sure. that. But uh, other than that, we pretty much got everything you need from auto parts to drug store to trophy grocery shop. store. Got a trophy shop still? Got a it's trophy shop out yeah. there. That's yeah. exactly Hardware right. Hardware store, which Hardware I enjoy store. very much going into. You're exactly right. Yeah. Hardware Your store. Your wife, do, not so much. Not so much, but I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Hardware store does really, really good, and it gets a lot of support from our 
Look at uh, Seth Coleman. Seth's still bragging about Julio's Pizza, and it is our favorite pizza place, isn't it? Listen, Man, my wife, awesome. my wife has to go to Julio's every week and get a personal pizza Come every on. week. That means she's not sharing. My wife orders meat right. large. So you got all the meat. Just put all the meat on it, girl. Put all the meat on it, and then I just scrape the toppings off of it. Oh my gosh! You oh talking about you talking about Julio's also? They do. Uh, uh, I'm involved with a star student program at Hope Bluff Elementary School. Mm-hmm. They recognize about 36 kids each month. Wow, beautiful! From uh, from pre <laughs> from pre K to uh, uh, fifth grade. And uh, we treat them. The, the mayor treats them, and they get to have lunch with That's us. Awesome. And uh, and uh, I use Julio's Pizza. Those kids love pizza, and they love Julio's Pizza. So. Yeah. You know that's a that's a good uh, good shot in the arm for them. Jeff, ask this question that Michael. Yeah, let me put let me put it on the screen so you guys can see it. Let's good question. see. We have some light industrial and retail in Hoax Bluff. What is the plan to expand both and attract more employers to the city? Any chance of trying to bring a large industry to the area? Thanks for everything you do. We for the first time I know of. And and I, I climb poles for a living. I've been power for 33 years and wasn't really involved in city government for a while, for a long time. But uh, my dad was former mayor. And as a young boy and at working for Alabama Power, I always thought, man, I want to be mayor one day, Hoax Bluff. Mm-hmm. I mean, I was 20 something years old. And I go, I want to be mayor of Hoax Bluff one day and be a <laughs> servant to my community. So uh, uh, back a few years ago, we purchased a piece of property across from what everybody in Hoax Bluff knows is Old Godfrey Groceries. It's Absolutely. in Lamco now. Yep. Where the four lane ends yep. and the, and the right. red light, the only red light we got in Oaks Bluff. You, you know, go. don't blink or you'll miss it. We purchased 22 acres across the road right behind the substation that Alabama Power owns. Mm-hmm. And we're trying to promote that and put that out there to try to bring in something light industrial yeah. and uh, and bring in some, uh, you know, our school's our biggest employer there in Hoax Bluff. Now, Hoax Bluff Welding, Barry Cherry, he's probably our second biggest mm-hmm. employer. He kind of floats a little bit, sometimes 30, 35 employees, you know, back down to 20. But, uh, yeah, well, that's our plan. You know, we want to mm-hmm. try to – every time I go to a meeting somewhere in Montgomery or wherever in the state, I'm trying to hook up with somebody and say, hey, we got this 22 acres out here in Oaks Bluff that we'd love to, mm-hmm. you know, entertain you all to come out here and, and look at. So, uh, yes, it is It is one of the one of the things on the – I think it's a great idea. I mean, you got the four lane runs right to that's right. it. That's right. Right to that's it. That's right. And you got a lot of eighteen wheelers traveling that four lane. That's exactly back right. From Piedmont, George, Rome. And one of these days, if two seventy eight ever connects with seven fifty nine on what they call the Eastern Connector, mm-hmm. it'll be a straight shot all the way to the interstate. Yeah. So uh, it's a good little spot out it there. We, we we can do a whole show just on that. Yeah, absolutely. Why that probably will in a couple of weeks. <laughs> hey, so what's it like working with some of your uh, county commissioners and and those kind of people? You know, we. Uh, at, for our area there at Hoax Bluff, we've always been uh, uh, worked hand in hand with Johnny Grant and uh, and Joey. And I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, I think the lines were redrawn. They and were. We, we may have lost Joey, mm-hmm. which uh, Joey Statham has done a tremendous amount for Hoax Bluff. And, you know, he again, like Craig Ford and some of them, they've got our tax dollars back to us mm-hmm. to see our, our tax dollars go to work in our community. And Johnny Grant, same. They just we've worked hand in hand and got a good relationship with them. And that's what city government's all about: yeah. building a good relationship with your peers and your and your lo- local legislators. And uh, it's 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 been a joy to work with Jamie and excuse me, Johnny. Sorry, Jamie. Never good Johnny, to work with Jamie. <laughs> Johnny and uh, uh, Joey. It's been a it's been a real pleasure to work with them. Been been really promising and and a lot of good things from from those guys. How is it working with <laughs> with uh, Andrew? Sir Andrew Jones. Oh, I thought you were talking about my son there for a minute. <laughs> uh, well, <laughs> we'll move on. Um, let's talk about Hoax Bluff Fest, oh, City Fest, man, City yeah. Fest, City Fest is a. We started that eight years ago, and John Moore can attest to this. We we started by the seat of our britches, and uh, we put that thing together in about a month. The first one we ever did. Stop it. Yes, about four weeks. Oh, no wow. kidding. Mm-hmm. We sure did. And uh, it turned out to be a, good, a great city fest, and mm-hmm. from then on, it's grew and uh, attracted. A, we've had a lot of good names in the in the past, mm-hmm. from Shenandoah to yeah. Confederate Railroad, to our very own local Drake White. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I've uh, had big crowds. It's a total free event, except for you know if you buy from a vendor, mm-hmm. all the rides are free. Uh, uh, you know, if you want food or whatever, you have to pay for that. But the, uh, that's the only reason I go. Uh, yeah, that's hey, right. The admission, food is fantastic. That's right. That, great. We got a guy from down south, Mudbug Mafia, uh, Justin Byrne. He comes up and uh, 
We've had shrimp boil. We've had he done a pig in the ground this year. Oh wow! Was, oh yeah. Well, I thought it was going to bring out Hank Junior. You know? <laughs> but how, uh, how, how is that mafia different than the Hoax Bluff Mafia? Oh, which one now? We've oh. already heard about the Hoax Bluff Mafia all the Hoax, time. Well, what, what, what is that? Oh, we can't talk about that. So. Oh, well, you know, secret. Yeah. Well, it is top secret. So uh, I better, I better, I better plead the five uh, on that one. He so, could ask you about the Italian Mafia. I'll tell you too. I mean, you know, how, put it this way: Hoax Bluff Mafia, we just stick together really, amen. really well. Amen. amen. Talk amen. a little bit about some of your your city councilmen. You got a, a a heavy lineup of people, very familiar names. And if you're from Hoax Bluff, did you just call one of them fat? I did not, <laughs> and none of them are fat. None of them. No, they're not. Uh, not at they're, all. They're really not. They're all fit and fiddle. P H A T. I was talking oh, about. What you were talking about. So talk a little bit about uh, just just go down the list there. If I'm the fattest to. one. Oh, <laughs> y'all in good shape then. Yeah, I'm, good shape. I'm the I'm the fattest one at about two seventy. But, the rest but, of the, rest but of the we guys. were looking at your um, <clears throat> the picture on on the website on the city of Hoax Bluff City website. <clears throat> we were hoping you wear the green pants today. Well, I started to, but I changed, I changed my mind. He's going to save them for I, for I April for the mind. Masters tournament. There, uh, <laughs> see, there you yeah, see, and, uh, it, yeah. You talking about city council? Yeah, you know. It, it's a it's a big plus and it's a it's a great advantage when you got a city council that that works together mm-hmm. works to works mm-hmm. great together and we got one yeah. uh our city council guys uh Larry Sandlin he's our uh, mayor pro tem you guys know Larry yeah yeah, he, he likes his hair combed and and, <laughs> he, and yeah, neat. He, yeah yeah, yeah he, he I've tried to put a hat on his head before and he won't have none of it now, he, his he son wears a hat all the time, though, don't he? Uh, uh, he's got no, two daughters. Two daughters. His son, son in law. law. Yeah, yeah, Coach Morgan. Yeah, Coach yeah, Morgan. Morgan. He right. wears a hat all the time. Yeah. He sure does. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, you can't get too. you can't get Larry you can't get Larry in a hat or a boggin. <laughs> but uh, anyway, look, he's Mayor Pro Tem, and uh, I like paid to see it though. Yeah, I, I've known Larry for a long time since I was a young boy. Yeah. All the guys I, I've I've known for a, for a, for a long time, and you know we got great synergy. Uh, we all work good, work great work. together. Do we always agree on everything? No, that's but at the end, good, but at though, the right? end of the day, you know, we come to common ground, mm-hmm. and uh, everybody's all about hoax bluff. They all five love hoax bluff, and uh, they, they don't mind getting their hands dirty. Mm-hmm. You know, they're not there for just a paycheck. You know, we, yeah. we don't make about dollar and twenty seven cents an hour, <laughs> so they're not there for a paycheck. They do it because they love their town yeah. and want to serve their community. Uh, Gary Dale Young, he's um, he's another one of our councilmen that's been there. Uh, got a lot of I guess you'd call it seniority that in, in the city that government. Chris Young's? That's uh, Kevin Young. Kevin Young, Kevin Young the yep. principal of mm-hmm. Kansas City. Yep, yep. And uh, Tracy, his other son. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, you got uh, uh, Walt Simmons, who uh, Walt came on new this time. Uh, he married uh, Coach Ball, Coach Patrick Ball's oh, yeah. daughter. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. Walt's in the uh, career tech program here in Edward County, mm-hmm. and he's he's a plus for us. He's over. Uh, I let me back up. Larry's over finance and personnel. He took over for uh, John Moore when John stepped down. John. Yeah, oh yeah, and he's put John to shame now. He's really put John to shame. He sure has. John yeah, watches. That's, that's right. Know. Yeah, Sandlin's the king now. Oh, Councilman Sandlin's the king. All rise. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> uh, Gary Dale Young, he's over our uh, 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 facilities and equipment. And then uh, I was talking about Walt. He's over our public uh, works, mm-hmm. over our streets and sanitation. And uh, Walt does a great job and. And then you got uh, uh, David Bankson, who is a, a county resource officer at our high school. Oh, yeah. Yes, yeah. David's been a uh, been a great plus to our great add on to our council, and uh, he is uh, he is over our public safety, mm-hmm. which I think's a uh, right fit, you know. And then uh, we have um, Chuck Robinson, who is a uh, he married one of the. Uh, Long standing Marbit girls there from Hoax Bluff, and uh, Chuck came into Hoax Bluff, and he's a he's a big fit, and uh, I think some people call him Chuck Marbit. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't marry Tina. Did he? <laughs> now he married uh, Carrie, Carrie T- Marbit, TP's daughter. Okay, yeah. All right. So uh, wow. Chuck is uh, he's uh, he works at Regions Bank over in Calhoun County, and Chuck's yeah. over our Parks and Rec. Awesome. And I'm gonna tell you, we got a great park. Hey, right. look, I'll put our five guys up against anybody in the county. They do a they do a splendid job and and they're a pleasure to work with and uh, like I say without without some good councilmen you know you uh <laughs> you kind of you kind of have some struggles and uh, we got a great we got a great, great yeah, outstanding we, group we see that every <clears throat> Tuesday mm-hmm. it's pretty okay. evident that the council works together out there because no question. yeah no you, question. you wouldn't even know like if you go to certain c- cities mentioning no names certain cities mm-hmm. you you know what district you're in right mm-hmm. host bluff it just kind of it's kind of jail it's like it's all one Deal. You know, yeah. we're we're working together for the greater good. That's right. The east side of Hoax Plus working really for the north side as well, and and it's just a, um, 
it's it's a pleasure to watch that type from when your dad was in office and mm-hmm. um, just the history of Hoax Bluff local government. It's pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. It really is. You'd appreciate so, that. Outside looking in, it's refreshing. Appreciate that. No, no. It's <laughs> You want to model? we yeah. got a couple really great <laughs> cities that you can model, model everything after. There's no question. Yep. So, so let's talk... Uh, are you interested in bringing a business to Hoax Bluff? Yes. Get with the mayor. Hey, we got several of you That's boutique right. owners watch yeah, our show. We do. Hey, there's a lot of traffic out there on that, that mm-hmm. highway, and that's a great place to bring. And Hoax Bluff boutique. people shop with Hoax Bluff if they can. They sure do. That's money back in their community. That's so right. if you're considering <laughs> it, I'm telling you, Hoax Bluff is a phenomenal place to start a business. You got a new coffee shop. I saw we do we do Hebrews yes. Hebrews right? Hebrews they were located over by the old by the elementary school. At yes, one point, the, that's right. Yeah, kindly, right. how do I not know about that? Yep, I, I forgot to tell you, my bad. Just, kindly, a, kindly, a little bit, you know, off the beaten path. Right. Kindly, well, they moved over to the shopping center. That's right. He has tripled wow his business right there. So the corner, you know what they say, don't you? In the in the city government world and, and business world, location, location, yeah. location, mm-hmm. location, and that's what it's all about. Yeah. Is does John Billingsley still have his business? Out there? Graceland Billings. Yeah, yeah, he yeah, does. Yeah. He I'm, does. He's so funny. Man. He does. John like is. John. Uh, we just purchased a. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. We just purchased a uh, building from John to go over to our all-purpose field for a concession stand. Oh yeah. Yeah. It'll be for youth football, rec soccer, yeah. and of course our high school soccer plays over there. So uh, we just done some business with uh, Mr. John Billings. Now he's where, where's that at? That's behind the the pool over there. Yeah, the all-purpose field is right. beside the pool. Beside the pool. Yeah, it runs okay. along Keener right there. It's, that's uh, right. Okay. It's, uh, Close to City Hall? Yes, yeah. yes. Okay. Yeah, right, right adjacent to City Hall. Yeah, okay. That's right. I'm trying to think some other things that make Hoax Bluff unique. Um, the library is legit. The, uh, is it Norse Farms? Norse Farms. Oh, come on. Yes, Man, Norse Farms. Incredible. Strawberry Farms. That's yes. incredible. Mm-hmm. Tell the people that don't know, I don't know where you're at if you don't know, but... But tell them about the farms. It's, it's pretty spectacular. It is. They're kind of a, um, what do you call it when they farm under the plastic? Uh, golly bum. Slipped my mind. And a towel uh, is called moonshine. Eco. Yeah, me moonshine. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not talking about under a trunk. Oh, okay, about, okay. Uh, I think it's uh, eco something. I can't remember. Heck. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, Norris Farms has been uh, operating, gosh, heck, I don't know, 20-something years oh, maybe. Uh, big strawberry sales. uh, uh Facility, they uh, have the punk, pumpkin patch. Mm-hmm. Pumpkin patch. The kids yeah. love to go down there during the fall and, and, and pick them out a pumpkin. And mm-hmm. uh, it's uh, they have uh, fresh, you know, homegrown vegetables. You know, they grow them right there on site. Yep. So uh, it's been a it's it's kind of it's out of the city limits. Hoax Bluff down off its bend community, mm-hmm. but uh, a lot of people in Hoax Bluff, you know, no doubt they uh, claim it. That place. That's right. Yeah, when I That's think right. about it, it's and Hoax they Bluff. get a lot. They get a lot of traffic too from uh, from out of town. You know, oh yeah, from it's... surrounding counties and all. Yeah, that, that come down there and visit them. And you said it right. It's pumpkin patch. Pumpkin. Yeah, that's right. It is. I'm, I'm, I'm just a pumpkin patch. I'm just old country boy. <laughs> What's a uh, favorite restaurant in Hooks Bluff? Hey. Put you on the spot here. Careful. Golly bum. Being a mayor, I eat it all of them. And if, <laughs> I, I, I kind of figure if you wasn't the mayor, every you eat one it all of them. I eat it every one let's, of let's, them. Let's, let's talk bum. about a, a few of them. Picking out? Still, still around? Picking out. Picking out. Yeah. I get a uh, – used to when our boys were playing football, we got a uh, – we got a hamburger steak plate every Friday game day, mm-hmm. and I still do that most of the time on Friday. What's well, game day? That's Somewhere. right. That's right. Somebody's and, playing. Mm-hmm. Carly, she's uh, she's kept it open. Drew Gasaway started it, yeah. And yeah. Uh, Carly's uh, uh, she obtained it from him and kept it open. And due to COVID, you know, COVID's oh, changed, really. rocked our world. I guess you'd call it. Uh, she's not opened her dining area back, and she mm-hmm. does only carry out. Okay. And that's where I she, from my vet, right? She, that's right, yes, right that's across yeah, the Dr. Right. Ford. Next yeah. to the vineyard out there. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. You would know where that is. Next so. to Mariella, that's right. That's right. Fair point. So uh anyway, uh she's she's done a great job at uh mm-hmm. and, and their business has increased since COVID. Wow. Yeah, she has. She's she's doing better with a dining room closed than she was with a dining room open. I, my fa- my favorite go to on Thursday night back when we first built the our little house there was um and they had just opened, I think that was it was many years ago. Oh, was the chicken finger plate, man, and I would get that every in the barbecue, <clears throat> the baked beans. Oh mm-hmm. my god. Mm-hmm. It's almost close to Mama White's kind of baked beans. Stop it. Was. I'm a, tell me hush your mouth. I'm a I'm a routine guy. Mm. So every Friday I get a hamburger steak, tater salad. Tater baked salad. beans and I used to get onion rings, but now I get and it's not okra. It's okra. It's That's okra. okra. You got right. You, you know, fried okra. That's right. There is a on. onion right. ring shortage. They I'm are. I'm telling you, man. I'm call. I call ahead now. Hey, you got onion rings today? I'm talking for Merrill's Barbecue downtown. Yep. The Big Chief in Glencoe. Mm-hmm. Like some good onion rings. You can't find them. Yep. Carly, she's so, uh, you know, she's 
she runs a great restaurant. Let me put it there. Mm. So when she couldn't get her favorite onion rings that everybody liked, she won't get any more. Mm. She said, I'm not going to have people yeah. buy a product from me and, and say they don't like it, and it mm. hurt my business. So she's waiting until she gets them from her same uh, 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 vendor. Yeah. Vendor, that's yeah. right. That's exactly so you right. got great pizza we talked about. What, what oh, else? Yeah, what else what, what hidden pizza. gems that the, the somebody from Rainbow City may not know about there? Uh, well, we got our Subway. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Eat fresh. I, I, I go Subway. I like to get a tuna sub. Micasitas. We have a Micasitas there in Hope I forgot Club. about that. We do. Stuff. We had yeah. a Mexican restaurant. And uh, me and the chief, we usually go there once a week. We got Huddle House. Mm-hmm. And uh, we got Jack's. And uh, I've got the KFC Taco Bell. Yes. KFC oh. Taco Bell. They, uh, I, I don't know what believe you KFC mean. Taco Bell. They do really well yeah. each month. They well, sure now that do. they're bringing back the Mexican pizza, I'm back. That's yeah. right. And we've got a new restaurant in Hoax Bluff over where Hebrews Coffee was located. Mm-hmm. Uh, there by the elementary school, uh, Kim's Heavenly Cafe and Market. Really? And uh, Kim went to school with me. She graduated with me there at Hoax Bluff. And her husband, Dwayne Floyd, was a year older than me. And they've opened up. And they do oh. to-go plates also. And she Country is the B3? Yes, sir-y. Like you heard the old, Yes, you heard, you heard the old saying... Boy, that's like grandma fixed. Oh, okay. I'm she in on cook. that. Then. Let's go. Let's go she can some. cook. I'm in. What's she, the name of it again? Kim's Heavenly Cafe and Marketing. By the elementary school. By the elementary know, school. Exactly in that little old plaza yep. that's so, perpendicular exactly. to Main Street. Where the florist used to be. Beside, across beside, where the florist used to be, right? That used to be Beard's Restaurant. Beard's Restaurant. That's right. Yeah, but Carl Beard and, and his right. wife owned that like restaurant. A, a, VHS rental place over there. There was one. And Blockbuster. Was Blockbuster, in, yeah. Blockbuster was in the uh, shopping, shopping center. center. I thought there was a small one close to the middle school. I elementary school. Was too. May not be. I don't know. Could be those. I was probably drinking a lot those days. I just didn't remember. <laughs> <Hey>, man. <laughs> so, oh, man, I got to do We got to do that. We got to go over there. Talk a little bit about the athletics in, in Hoax Bluff. I mean, you're obviously huge into athletics over there. and Anybody that's um, – uh, knows anything about Etowah County sports. Mm-hmm. I mean, Hoax Bluff is always in the mix and in the talk of baseball, football. You've had a good mm-hmm. year of basketball you talked about earlier. Fishing. 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 Yeah. 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 We, might have a, we might have a fishing team one day at Hoax Bluff. You never, you never know. There's all kind of sports kicking up out there nowadays. You know, we've, we've got soccer. Uh, came in last year. Okay. It was our first year to have soccer. Wow. So, uh, yeah, you're talking about football. Everybody always looks at the big three, mm-hmm. kind of like they do the SEC. Yeah. And they, they look at football, baseball, and basketball as being your three prominent sports. And, uh, you know, over the course of, like we was talking a while ago, 50 years, I've been guilty of – and I'm a football guy. Uh, I'm, football's number one with me. There's no and question. I, and I like football. and But I like them all. I like them all. Yeah. But football, if you pin me down and – had your foot on my throat and say, which one you like the best? It'd be football. Yeah. And I like basketball. I like basketball because it's a contact sport, yes, more sir. or less. No <laughs> and the way the rules are getting in football, basketball is about as tough as football. Yeah, probably so. And then uh, I like baseball. But uh, over the course of about the last 50 years, you know, we've been fortunate at Hoax Bluff just to have three coaches in, in football. That's amazing. And, and I wasn't thinking about it till the other day, and I had to put a post on Facebook. We've only had three in baseball mm. pretty much. Coach oh. Estes. Coach Estes first came to Hoax Bluff in 1975. Wow. He won a state championship his first year there. Of course, he had the big arm of Steve Shields throwing that about 104. A little bit. You know what I'm saying? Everybody scared to death to stand up to the plate and bat against That's him. That's true. I, I transferred down to Miller Steam Plant. I'll tell you this right fast, and I'll get back to athletics. I transferred down to Miller Steam Plant for about seven months. Me and my wife thought we was on an island by ourselves, born and raised in Hoax Bluff, never been out of town. And uh run up on a guy in a gym down there named I forget his name, redheaded boy. He said, uh, oh, hoax bluff. He said, uh, you know a guy named Steve Shields? And I said, Yes, sir. I said, actually he's kin to me. And he said, We played them in I think seventy five or six or seven, one of the three years. And he said, every kid on the team was <laughs> scared, <laughs> scared to get in the batter's box and face Steve. And he said, Hoax Bluff wore us out. But, yeah, Coach Estes came in 75 and, yeah. and, and won three state championships right out of the bat. And Coach Wright was, uh, kept him for years, you know. And then, and then Coach Rob took over baseball, and, and now Jake Ball's got it. So, I mean, you're talking about nearly 50 years right That's there, so three coaches. That's and to me, you know, people see it different. You know, it's like opinions. Everybody's got one, sure. but uh, I, I think sometimes with with a with a limited amount of coaching like that, I think you build more stability. No know? question. And and and, and I, I believe I believe I believe statistics statistics will back that up. Mm. And uh, uh, our athletic programs, 
have we have we won twelve state championships in football and we've won nine in baseball. Yeah. So uh, you know we're pretty known in baseball. We have won one in football and that's hard to do. No question. You know that's hard to do. There's not many. There's not many people got the blue map in their in that's their right. school. That's right. And uh, we've we've been competitive in basketball. Mm-hmm. And uh, you know I played for Coach Patrick Ball back in the day and. Uh, you know, we was a, our senior year was the first year to win twenty games, and you know I, I was honored to play with those guys. I only played one year. Don't you still and, owe him some suicides? <laughs> let me tell you, boy, you talking about some running? Whew. Goodness gracious! I weighed two hundred pounds playing football. Two weeks later, at our first basketball game, I weighed one seventy eight. Good. My great. mama said, "I believe you're sick. We need to go to the doctor." <laughs> And I said, I said, Mama, you don't, you just don't understand. I'm how sick much of running. You don't know how much we're running. It's <laughs> I, unbelievable. I didn't know I was, I was on the track team. <clears throat> yeah, you're right. You got, but, a, uh, you got a good one in Coach Presley. We, we do. Yeah, Jason, love. Jason Man. came on after uh, Coach Noah uh, retired and moved on and. Uh, Jason does a phenomenal job. He is yeah. he's a he's a smart man. He he knows the X's and O's of basketball. Well, he and, ought to. He stayed in the gym enough when he, he knows. Is, yeah. Yeah. I've I've heard nothing but compliments about Coach Presley around our county, and and people that knows Jason and uh, the kids love him. We're fortunate to have him. They play we're hard for him. We're fortunate to have. That's him. how you know if you got a good coach or not. What do your what will your kids do? Mm-hmm. Will they do the right things? Will yeah. they run through a wall for that's you? Right. And, uh, that's right. Oaksworth kids do that for sure. Yeah. That's right. That's yeah. right. Big Seth Coleman says. Uh, Sat and, and I, I we drive a car. We carry our youngest son to Pleasant Valley, where he we carry him to school every day. And so he says, sad to see a, the big fence on the bridge at the mill pond. Lots of members of that place. Uh, off air, Mayor told us it was because of you and all the antics that you did <laughs> jumping off that darn thing. That's why they had to put the fence up. So we had to put the fence up because of one of our councilmen. <laughs> Here we go now. Councilman Sandlin goes over. <laughs> he, he's jumped off that bridge as much as any of the kids has. <laughs> There you go. And that's why we can't have nice things. <laughs> oh, Lordy. We, we, there's a lot of people still enjoy the So how did uh, his hair fare after he come out if he's jumping off that? Perfect. Perfect. Just oh, yeah. Just, oh, yeah. That's right. Does never, he Aquanet or something? I guess he does. Something, Some kind of net. <laughs> that's a fun. <laughs> fish net got, or something. He does got fish net. He's got yeah. good hair, though. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. right. Hair, so so uh, anything going, else going on in the Hoax Bluff? Anything coming up we need to, to you know, we just, promote? We just opened a new family dollar. And uh, oh, they, yeah, they, they, right, built, right. they built across the road. Yeah. We, we, you know, to be honest, we we really didn't know what to think with a family dollar coming right across the street from Dollar General. Mm-hmm. But if you drive through every other town in Alabama, you see AutoZone and Advance, No Rileys right. all uh, yeah, door right. to door. It's so awesome. it's 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 been good so far. You know, uh, we've had a few people that probably, you know, maybe move their business from Dollar General over to uh, over to uh, Family Dollar, but it's a uh, new, new building. Mm-hmm. You can't tell business no, you know when they oh, come right. when they come knocking. You know you uh, you uh, competition competition's good. Thing. You know yeah. they tell us that all the meetings we go to and conferences we go to mm-hmm. for the Alabama League of Municipalities. You know they say competition's good. Yeah. So uh, we kind of Trent, Trent Thrasher is watching. So uh, he wants Trent. to know why he didn't get the bid to build that. <laughs> tell <laughs> him he, you, Trent. T- t- tell Trent you'll have to talk to uh, Trey Pierman. <laughs> <laughs> Note to say. <laughs> That is a convenient place, though. Uh, yeah. A lot of people like. I'm, it is. I'm, I'm very finicky. I'm driving through a town, and I got to go into a shopping plaza to get back to a spot, whether it's a grocery store or a small little business. I'd rather stop at that single. That's right. Standing yeah. I, I right told on. I told the folks when we first heard about Trey and his dad going to build it. They own the property mm-hmm. over there, so they built the building. And I told them, I said, I can see it being a, a great advantage. For people in the afternoon going home, That's right. going back toward Calhoun County, or either coming back into Hoax Bluff, mm-hmm. you know, to stop at it because it's convenient. It's right there on the right hand side of the four lane, yep. just like Jack's. Yep. They built Jack's on the right side of the four lane uh, going toward Gadsden mm-hmm. westbound for one reason and one reason only. People's headed to work. No so, doubt. And it's boy, that thing, they, they, they wire the hinges out on the door and the drive through every morning. It's crazy. It you is know, crazy. I take a double gravy right now. <laughs> I get that chicken. Give me two chicken fillets. <laughs> Sam Sam just be eating everything up out there. That's the problem. He's always in there eating yeah. breakfast all the time. All right. Anything else going on before we get out of here? Uh, we uh, we uh, we're always trying to utilize our tax dollars that comes into our city. We got some. We got five new road paving projects we're fixing to do, oh. and one of the biggest ones. And, and John was a big proponent of this before he moved on off our city council, John Moore, we're extending our 0278 into the shopping center. And it'll, oh. it'll really help some of our older population mm-hmm. that That's come right. down 0278. That's they won't right. have to go out on the four lane and cross higher rate of speed of traffic twice. 
they'll be able they'll be able to drive right into the shopping That's center. Awesome. It, yeah, oh yeah, yeah. We, we can't wait till that prep project gets started. That'll go right in started. front of where picking out in the That's uh, right. storage building. That's right. exactly right. That's Patterson awesome. Beverage is right yeah, there, right. and uh, Larry Walker Another Survey, and place Dr. Jerry Ford. Ask for the Jerry White special. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Man, well, thank you so much yes. for taking your time to be be with us. Yes, sir. I, we feel ignorant we hadn't had you on before this. That's okay. That's okay. I blame Jerry, and uh, Jerry, right. Jerry blames John Moore. So I do. Just I do. Work. It's John's cycle. <laughs> we can blame it on John. He's scapegoat. Yeah. Well, anything that uh, that you would like to – maybe any sporting events. Basketball's happening right now. There's still well, the kind of- uh, area tournament starts tonight. Our right. girls, uh, congratulations to them. You know, they've had a good season along with our guys, with our boys. They're playing uh, – let me get this straight. I always get it confused. They're playing uh, Geraldine tonight oh. at Collinsville at 7 o'clock. And uh, we'll be loading up the old guys that head down there and follow, their, follow our sports. We're going – a few of us go together always. And uh, tonight at 7 at Collinsville. And our boys play tomorrow night against Glencoe. Here we go. Here we go, mm-hmm. Mayor Hare. Don't miss that, that one. That big rivalry. Uh, we play Glencoe tomorrow night at 7 at – Geraldine. Oh wow! So, uh, and then if we both win in advance, we'll play. I think Thursday and Friday. That's and awesome. then baseball starts up seventeenth. Heck so, yeah! Uh, Heck yeah! And we got sign ups going on for our youth baseball. And, and you know, you talking about the city park a while ago where our ball fields are for our uh, youth sports. You talking about packed? Mm-hmm. That place is yeah. packed during the spring and, and during but the summer. But you got the shave football. ice stand over there? Uh, no. Mm-hmm. Bring back shave mm-hmm. ice. <laughs> no, no, we, no, no, is no, no, no. over there. It was good shave ice anyway. in the concession. Well, my kid was. Well, it's been Sorry. some years, but it was good. <laughs> good place. We love it. We we love Host Bluff. We we appreciate you, and hopefully we'll get to have you back on. Anytime you get ready to promote anything, give us a shout. We'd love okay. to just have you. Or if you just want to come and talk and so we can bully Jerry a little bit. We should great. have a mayoral roundtable. <laughs> that would be great. That would be fantastic. We'll talk about that. Okay. Uh-huh. Can you imagine him and Joe Taylor sitting across from each other? I, we would never be able to talk. <laughs> we just have to just let y'all talk. It's so fun. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Yeah. Man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for hey, having Stay me. close. Stay clean. Always love each other the way you're supposed to. Hey, mm-hmm. God loves you, and so do we.